My name is Vikrant. I'm Veritas Technical Consultant in Enver Micro Canada. In today's session, I'll be talking about Backup Exec 16 licenses. And upon request, we created this video for Veritas and Enver Micro partners and end customers. If you have any questions about Backup Exec license models, license evaluation, questions on renewals, feature listing, then you're watching the right video. I will try to cover as much as possible, however, for any queries, please leave a comment and I will try to help you with the correct answers. Backup Exec is a single unified data protection platform across virtual, physical, and cloud environment. So when it comes to licensing, it is available in four different licensing models, and that's very flexible when it comes to choosing from one of these licensing models. Now, depending on the requirement, Licenses can be purchased in most cost-effective manner. The models are Capacity Edition, Capacity Edition Lite, V-Ray Edition, and a la carte. Capacity Edition is evaluated on total size of front-end data in terabytes and is inclusive of all the features. The benefits of Capacity Edition is it is easy to manage the license information rather than maintaining a list of separate agent-based licenses. Similarly, Capacity Edition Lite is a smaller version of Capacity with limited feature set. Whereas Vira Edition is specifically designed for virtual setup and is evaluated as per the total number of CPUs on the host. And the last, a la carte is a regular model where individual features can be picked up separately. Well, as you can see in this slide, I have created this table to simplify the distribution of various features in different licensing models. To begin with, let's have a look at all the agents listed in the first column under a la carte. The feature descriptions are in brief, but it kind of gives an idea of what functionalities that particular agent provides. I would like to take a few minutes here to go through all the agent lists before we talk about their distribution. So, the first one is Backup Exec Server. It is the core Backup Exec Server license. This server is also called as Media Server. Now, this license is inclusive of Agent for Windows license, which means that if you need to backup any files from the local file system, then a separate license is not required. So, as discussed, the next one is Agent for Windows. This is the license which is required to backup Windows file system. The one after that, Agent for Linux, is required to backup the file systems on Linux servers. Remember, please check the compatibility list for Backup Exec to ensure that the offering system or the file system is compatible with Backup Exec or not. Moving on, the next one is Agent for Application and Database. This license supports backup of applications such as Active Directory, Exchange, Enterprise Vault, SharePoint, and databases like Oracle and SQL Server. So, if a system has got Exchange on it, and if you want to backup Exchange, you need to have this license. Next one is Agent for VMware and Hyper-V Host. This license is required for Servers hosting VMware and Hyper-V, it covers all the VMs, VM backups running within that host. Now, if any of the VM is, is an Exchange server or an Active Directory server, then Agent for Application and Database needs to be deployed separately. The next one is Agent for Remote Media for Linux servers. This license provides flexibility when uh, the storage is directly attached to the remote Linux server. Enterprise server option. Now, I would say that this is really a unique feature with very few other applications out there, especially in SMB market provide. With this license, centralized management and off post backups are possible. It's a really useful feature if you're looking at a multiple site deployment. The next one is library expansion option. This one supports multiple drives and tape library. Deduplication option. It enables deduplication. This like license includes the entire concept of deduplication, you know, like media server-side deduplication or client-side deduplication, 
optimize duplication in all all other concepts. The next one is VTL, unlimited drive option, supports unlimited drives in each virtual tape library. And the last one is NDMP option. This license is only required if you're trying to back up a NAS device. And if it's a cl cluster NAS devices, then you require only one license for active node. There is one thing I would like to add. Backups to cloud is absolutely free. So we do have a, an option to maintain a copy of the data on cloud platform without any additional cost. The supported cloud platforms are Microsoft Azure, Amazon S3, and Google Cloud. So as we saw the entire list of agents and what kind of functionalities they provide, let's see about how they are distributed in V-Ray Edition and Capacity Edition. So if you look at the extreme right column, all these features are avail available in Capacity Edition, and Capacity Edition is calculated on front end terabytes. So for example, if, uh, if a customer is looking for front end data to be backed up, and the approximate size is around five terabytes, so they need five licenses of capacity edition. Please note that while calculating the total front end data, please consider the, the annual growth of at least 20%. Now, in capacity light edition, it comes only with basic features, but it's really a cost-effective solution. On the other hand, we also have a V-Ray edition specifically designed for virtual setup, and it is inclusive of one backup exec server license, unlimited agent for Windows, agent for Linux, and agent for application and databases licenses. But these licenses are restricted with virtual machines only. There is one agent for VMware and Hyper-V host, and one additional license with deduplication. So it comes in a complete package. The interesting part with V-Ray Edition is that you can mix it with a la carte, which means that if there is a feature which is not included in V-Ray Edition, and if you, want, if you need it, you can purchase it separately. Whereas you cannot mix Capacity Edition light with a la carte. Can, can be mixed only with V-Ray Edition. All right then, so I hope I was able to explain it all in this uh, simple table. And uh, in the next slide, we're gonna look, some, look at some examples on how we can evaluate the licenses and what are the different combinations where you can put these features together. And, uh, and I can show you how flexible it is and uh, depending on the customer requirement, how, how, how we can evaluate it. Okay, so here is a good scenario on backup exec license evaluation. We have a requirement from the customer and we need to figure out what are the right set of features or licenses we need to choose in order to propose a suitable license structure. First, let me read out the requirement. It is a single site location with approximately seven terabytes of data, including annual growth, then three VMware host dual processors with eight cores each, the virtual setup has one Active Directory, two SQL database, and two Exchange Mailbox virtual machines. In addition, there are three remote legacy Windows physical file servers. Deduplication is required with three years of maintenance support. Great. So now we have an idea of how the customer's environment looks like. And it is important to collect all the necessary information because it helps to build the code accurately. Let's see how we're gonna frame the license structure now. I suggest you may take a screenshot of the license table we saw in the previous slide, right here. It will definitely help with the evaluating of the licenses. So I'm gonna start with a la carte model. As discussed, in a la carte, we need to select all the, the licenses separately. I'm going to start with bundle licenses for three years support because customer explicitly mentioned they need three years of maintenance. 
and then here is the list of individual agents or licenses. First one is backup exec server, which is fine. Then there is three agent for VMware or Hyper-V because there are three VMware hosts. Now, it's important to remember that in other court model, all we need to know is the total number of host servers. So the socket information is not needed. Socket information is only required when you're framing the license structure with VDA addition. I'm going to talk more about it in a while. And uh, let, let's move on with the next license here. It's five agent for application and database. We need five of these because there is one Active Directory, two SQL database, and two Exchange Mailbox. Altogether, it's five agent for application and database. Remember that agent for VMware or Hyper-V will not include application and database license. That's why we need to add it separately. Agent for VMware or Hyper-V will only involve agent for Windows license, as you can see in the table. Next, there are three agent for Windows. This license will cover all the remote legacy Windows physical file servers. And then finally, 1D duplication. So now we have the list of all the individual licenses which are needed to cover this entire requirement. And as you can see, it's totally 13 individual licenses. Price-wise, it might go a little higher, but let's see what options do we have here. Now, I'm going to try to frame this, ex this exact requirement in capacity edition. So, in capacity edition, again, we are going with bundle licenses for three years support. Now, one important thing I would like to mention here is that when you're calculating capacity, it's, it is evaluated on the size of the data, right? So, as you saw in the table, it's per terabyte each license. So, it's important that we need to calculate the amount of data growth within the span of three years. With standard, we go with 20% annual growth, but as per the research, it shows that there is a constant increase of 30 to 40% the organization. And I would definitely leave it up to you guys how you want to calculate the annual growth, but for the sake of this example, I have considered 20%, which comes up approximately to 12 terabytes for total two years. So based on that, we need 12 capacity edition one terabyte standard on-premise licenses. Another important thing here is that we're going with capacity edition. We're not going with capacity edition light in this example because customer explicitly requires deduplication. And as you can check in the table, capacity edition light does not involve deduplication. That's why we go with capacity edition full blown. The summary on this model would be that it needs 12 licenses in total because we're considering 12 terabytes with 20% annual growth. Price-wise, it can be a little competitive with the previous model, and and that's that's what the evaluation is all about. So we need to frame it in two different ways and find out which one is the most suitable option in terms of price or in terms of in terms of total number of licenses which we need which needs to be maintained year after year. But let me show you I have one more option here and that is V Day Edition combined with Alocart. So as mentioned in the table, you can combine or you can mix V Day Edition with Alocart. In that way we can cover this requirement as well. So let's see how we can do it. Again, it's going to be bundle licenses for three-year support. And this is V-Ray Edition. So in V-Ray Edition, we need to have the socket information because it's evaluated on per CPU basis. So we need six of this because there are three hosts with dual processors. So in total, there will be six V-Ray Editions, one CPU standard on-premise license. Now, VDA edition is good to cover all of this requirement. It will definitely cover backup exec server license. It will cover VMware host. 
It's going to cover the entire virtual setup with application and database like Active Directory, SQL database, or Exchange Mailbox. It will also cover deduplication, but the only thing which is remaining is the three remote legacy physical file servers. So for that, I can mix Relay with a la carte and add a separate license of three agent for Windows to cover only those legacy physical file servers. So with this option, altogether we have nine licenses and the price wise, again, we can, make, we can have a comparison between these three ways or these three models of licenses. So based on my experience, I believe for this particular example, I would definitely go with the combination of VD edition and uh, court mode. Right then. Hope I was able to explain it all right. And if you have a similar requirement or would like to discuss the scenario, please drop it in the comment box. Backup Exec 16 is definitely a single solution for virtual, physical, and cloud setup. Specifically with cloud backups, there is no additional license needed. It is included in Backup Exec server license. However, end customers may need to have paid subscription with supported cloud vendors such as Microsoft Azure, Amazon, or Google Cloud. I will be coming up with a few more videos on Backup Exec advanced features with the demonstration, as well as license evaluation scenarios on other Veritas solutions like NetBackup and Backup Appliance. Data Insight, Enterprise Vault, Enterprise Vault of Cloud, InfoScale Product Suite, and many more. Hope this video was informative, especially to our partners and resellers from Ingram Micro and Veritas. I know we come up with code requests on a daily basis, and at times it is confusing on what licenses to choose from and how does renewal work. So please feel free to reach out to me on my email address at swekran.kawande at ingrammicro.com. And my contact info is 905-7555-5000 with extension 55608. I will get back to you with the correct information as soon as possible. Well, thank you for watching and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.